Hello everyone, Mistron Jr. here. We are back in EU4. Last time some weird shenanigans happened. Baden has entered into a military coalition against us. And then Britain has announced us okay. Strange. I guess this all everything got recalculated when we, re when we reloaded back in. I had like a panic moment yesterday to get yesterday's episode out. And, uh, so it's been one full day since yesterday, and such. So we're, like, just now catching back up. Um, that's awkward. Morocco, are you still allied with the Ottomans? You are. I want Algarve. But I can't take it. I because I don't want to incite the Ottomans into war. You are allied with Jolof. I could declare on Jolof. I could do that just for the one goal of taking that thing. We currently have a chance of a PU over France, even though they rivaled us. If King Gaston I de Trastamara dies now, um, we get a succession war between Castile and Austria. I'm assuming France would be on our side, which is awkward because we're rivals. But um, I'm assuming because Austria does not have any claim to that throne. That's probably just Austria wanting to stop that from happening. Baden and Brabant are currently in a coalition against us. We are integrating Aragon. So the goal of this for today's episode is to... Okay, so that is improving. Eventually, <laughs> we, eventually we will integrate Aragon. Um, we have a minus 22% chance of inheriting because our Diplo rep is garbage. Uh, Umbria. Umbria is over here. Okay. Uh, Naples will be able to handle that. Oh, we have unrest. We have growing corruption. Truces with Switzerland. We just, we allied Sweden. Right? We did? Okay, so our only alliance is with Sweden. We have a royal marriage with Denmark, which will end soon, probably. Why did that end? They feel threatened. Why did we, did they break it? Did we, what did happen? I don't know what happened here. Either way. Oh, he has a weak claim. His allies are Lithuania and Ulm. We could just go ahead and just claim. Uh, let's come back from Scotland. Let's look. Let's take a look and see what this what what this war would look like. Because I think. We get to look at... Oh, if we claim the... Okay, so if we claim it, we take a minus 20 prestige hit, and then we lower our relations with all countries which we have a royal marriage. Who do we have royal marriages with? Just Sweden and Denmark. We are currently not improving with Denmark. I don't want to miss out on this, though. Forcing Denmark into a PU would be kind of, kind of hilarious. 
Although I don't know what that would do for Sweden. Although they want a lot of Danish land. It's all very interesting. Um, do I want to go ahead and do this? Wish it told me that. Um, this section will lower our relations with all countries which we have a royal marriage. Well, I don't know how much it'll lower. Let's see. So that is a minus 50. Did it mess up trust? Not really. Okay. So the 2.64, and it's coming along. It's going to take forever, though. Oh, we can take a Splendor Power. We still have not yet formed Spain. And it's aggravating. Um, you know what? Since we are about to probably have to do sieges on naval targets. Or war score cost versus other religions. Minus 25%. Um, you know what? I'm fairly confident in our siege ability. So let's actually take, let's take religious wars. Uh, does not owe Sweden has, Sweden has a truce with Denmark. Ulm and Lithuania versus basically Sweden, Granada, Spina. Oh, that's right. We took Saxony as a vassal. Holy hell. That's right. I totally forgot about that. Saxony's 4K troops. You know what, Saxony? I totally forgot that we took you. Um, I want to enable Scootage. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and place a relative on the throne. Yeah. How long is Sweden's truce with Denmark? November of 1586. And how long... How long does this CB last for? Huh, doesn't really tell me. Um Well, I don't want to really want to wait. So I want to take a look at the ledger. Uh, let's do military armies. Lithuania only has 44,000 troops. I outnumber Castile. Denmark has 27,000. Aragon has 51,000. Wow, they have a lot of artillery in the Naples. Now 
Naples has not enough, but they are currently fighting. Um, yeah, they're currently fighting rebels. I don't want to deal with that right now. And we still have the succession of possibility with France. Um, okay, so. I think we need to give this a shot, yeah? I mothball you guys. All right. I think we're gonna Switzerland. Okay. Before we do this, let me turn on these forts because they are the important ones. Uh, Burgers Estate loses 15 loyalty. Gain one base production, gain one base production, gain one base production. Or, 15 loyalty, 10 influence. Guild privileges defended, local unrest decreased. I think we can afford that. Um, we're not really colonizing. Colonizing, I guess we will grant monopoly charters and then take a bunch of gold. And then we will draft ships for war. Yeah. Um, I will also. What's our military? Army tradition is at 20. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the 40 Tradition General. Yeah, who do we get? A 2312. I could certainly dig that. Oh, I can't move there because of uh, because of reasons. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do this. I think. Oh, we've waited too long, and France joined, or France is able to join in. God. Dang it. <clears throat> That's what I get for waiting. Well, now, oh, he's only one. I think I can have that till he becomes the heir, or till he becomes the ruler. Or, heaven forbid, the the air dies. So let's go ahead and turn these off because we don't need them on. That gives us time for our carracks to be built and 
Those to be repaired. Salzburg. Austria, what is... What? Why? Is it because our aggressive expansion is still over 50 with him? It's gotta be why. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll just hold off on all that for now. But what we will do is we totally forgot to... Um... No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Oh, no, 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 no. I guess I could remove Morocco as a as a rival. It'd be far more useful to have France or Great Britain. Ninety Diplo. I don't really see us warring Morocco. France probably makes more sense at this point. God, I shouldn't have waited. That also means I can now um, our soul truce with you. For whatever, I can definitely embargo you. And I can embargo Austria. Venice's only thing is the Teutons. Livonians, prefer can I declare on you? I can, I can take Medina and that, and everyone honors the call, great. What about Genoa? There are not some very many good options here. Although I guess Venice is the... Venice is the choicest one. Or maybe we just don't. Okay, up over 27. We are making progress there. That's good. I'm very annoyed that we postponed this and that it took too, way too long. Can I force Lithuania to break? Great powers. And for break alliance. I don't, I don't want you to be friends with Denmark. No? No chance? What about uh, Tuscany? You are allied with Lithuania, France, Poland, Bohemia, Pomerania, and Gelray.
break alliance. More of an option there. I don't think I've ever intervened in a war. Okay, we can intervene in this war. Oh, doesn't even matter. There's no... Nothing of interest there. Okay, um... Well... Well, damn. Meant the force limit. Oh, you know what I need to do actually before we take a break? I need to build some regimental camps. We'll do them in these free slots. Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and take a break here, I think. Only because I need to rethink what I'm doing. Yeah, I need to rethink what I'm doing. Your military tech 14. Your military tech 15. You're also tech 14. Military tech 12. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Maybe it's time to start spending some ducats. Anyway, we'll take a break here. So if you're enjoying the series, hit that like button. If you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.